Welcome to Unity tutorial of a landscape using the starter asset. Okay, so that is how it works. You can see the sky and the trees and the grass terrain. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Unity development environment and we put one of these together. So let's do that now, guys. Hi guys and welcome to Unity Tutorial. I'm going to start by first of all going straight to the windows right here. Just click on window. Um, you see package manager. I'm going to click on that as well. And if you have an account, that's all right. If you don't have an account, I'm going to ask you to. You'll be advised to actually sign into your own system or create yourself an account. Since I have an account, I'm going to go straight into my asset so once my asset open i just need one or two in fact i'm going to need about four of these assets so let's scroll right down uh, the very first one i'm going to need maybe i'm going to need something to do with the with the grass because i want the, ter uh, the terrain to look grassy so let's see if we can get anything with grass look at this one the one that says grass flower pack that one is free I'm gonna click on import it's about 55 megabytes so you just click on import there we go why that is importing now you're going to have to click on import again to import all the asset that you need you can uncheck whatever you don't want once you understand the the environment of this uh, package manager so let's click on import now it is important okay right there the grass flower pack is already on the system so I'm going to go for another one and this this time around I'm gonna go for the third person starter asset right there guys that is the third person starter asset there uh, it's about 69.72 megabytes so I'm going to click on import as well with the starter assets these very dialogues always pop up telling you that the project is using the new input just click on yes and the download will continue okay I'm now going to download the realistic trees since my starter asset is already downloaded as it did and that is the realistic tree 9 I'm going to import that it is about 15 megabyte so just click on that and then click on import again all right my realistic tree is on board and finally let me just oh not i wouldn't say finally i think i saw another kind of trees called something to do with a tree mediterranean look at it um, it's only five seven point fifty six megabyte let's grab hold of that as well all right as you can see the starter asset for the tree mediterranean trees there is called olive and finally i will now grab hold of the skybox series 3 that is it there that one is a little bit big it's about 274 so let's click on import and that's all there is to this starter asset that you guys need and the starters the assets that you need so for this project that'll be all for all this asset that you would that is required okay now that i've finished downloading all the required assets i'm going to exit out of the package manager there and now the very first one that i would like to us to explore would be the grass if you look at my work area is all plain there's nothing there i haven't added any component from the hierarchy so i'll double click on you see the grass because this tutorial is just for just for a terrain but the terrain that I'm going to be using is the downloaded one with the grass flowers so I'm going to double click on the demo here and right inside the demo we have the if you look at this uh, 
unity icon that's the demo grass if we double click on it let's see what we have in there there we go look at that so I'm gonna run it and let you guys just see what I am talking about click on run it's coming up now there we go look at the beautiful scene so this is a scene I'm going to be working on I'm not gonna be changing much of this scene because you can even see the heel over there so I'm just gonna exit out for now so what I want to do next is I'm gonna go straight into the starter asset look at it right there double click on the starter asset and I want the third person controller right there could double click on that and also I need the, the prefab let me get hold of my game make sure you have your game tab here so that you can see what you're doing and let's double click on the prefab of the starter asset and inside the starter asset is the third person controller double click on that and what I'm looking for there we go that is it right there player amateur grab the player amateur and just dump it right somewhere there there let's see if we can see it inside the game we cannot see where exactly the amateur is I want to be able to see where the amateur is hiding okay I don't think he's there on the ground yet right let's see if I can get hold of my main camera so I'm going to double click on my main camera let's just make sure we know where that is the position of the play, uh, main camera is says X axis 34 37 4 36 so let's look for the player amateur and I'm going to make that 37 and this one is 36 so we should be able to see he's very close to the camera now so that's good look you can tell it's somewhere here let's move it so that we can see him see it's kind of like up there so bring him down there we go there so if I run it we should be able to see the exact location where it is now there we go that is the player amateur all you just need to now do is just hold on to your control keys the up arrow left or right arrow or W a S D and that is your starter asset the, the, the amateur right inside the starter asset you see how it goes now that looks very good I like that okay one other thing that I want to do now is I'm now going to exit out let's go into the tools you see the tools here click on the tools and right there you see the starter asset I'm going to double click on reset third person controller amateur and what we happen is we should be able to attach a camera to it so I'm going to click on that there we go look right here a camera is already attached to it that is the camera right there and if you notice here in the hierarchy you can see how uh, kind of like of a of a wheel and a camera attached to it so if I click on run we should be able to the camera should be able to be working with the player amateur wherever the player amateur goes the camera will follow so let's see look at that guys check that out look at the beautiful scene you see that is a very simple tutorial that you can enhance add any other features to it you can see the landscape how beautiful that landscape is look at that now let's just add some trees then we can just wrap up this tutorial now let's add some trees so I'm gonna ex exit out and we select this terrain the terrain actually comes with the 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 terrain actually comes with the grass so make sure the terrain is selected and let's come in here 
see the once this terrain is selected you now want to get hold of the tree edit right here you can see it plain tree click on edit add trees and these dialogues that pops up are trees dialogue click on this small icon there the trees that I'm looking for will be inside my assets here and there they are so I'm just gonna pick on one of them whichever trees that I add will be displayed everywhere so I'm gonna click on let's click on this very one and that's the one I chosen for now so let's come in here click on add and right here you see where we have mass place trees I'm going to click on the mass place trees look at it it says 1000 that would be way too much I'm going to make it about it said 10,000 I'm going to make it about 1000 or let's see 2000 because we can always delete and just click on add see it's placed the trees where I want and that makes life easy for me anyway so let's run it and see how that's gonna look like then we can also add more trees to it I see it's coming up look at that you see that guys that is beautiful I love that turn that off and let's come right here that is the skybox I'm gonna go straight into my assets right here I need this car that is it sky series that I downloaded okay let's see one of the skies that I think because it's a beautiful bright day let's see we can just pick on any of this bright looking sky maybe I will set you for this one grab that and just drag it and dump it right there and that's all there is to that done so click on run let's see how that's going to look like it's coming up there we go look at it look at that guys look at this thing that is beautiful that is very very beautiful and that is how you create your own landscape with the cooperation of the starter asset I like that guys so you can always do your own and improve more on it so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial and thanks for watching bye for now